friends in chellas cartooner in this video we will discuss about my favorite topic that is seven qc tools these are the basic tools used in statistics and handling and solving customer complaints and technical problems is a biggest challenge in current world and these tools are used for solving a problems and though it was introduced by Isikawa in 1950s in current days also it is being followed in all across the field because of its qualities of simple and easy to adapt for a good results what are all 7 QC tools let us see one by one check sheet second graphs third Pareto diagram fourth cause and effect diagram fifth histogram sixth scatter diagram and seventh control chart so check sheet is the first 7 QC tool in our day to day life we use so many check sheets even to do checklist also is one of the check sheet and it's very generic and it is the first stage of problem solving and it can be adopted for a wide variety of purpose and used for a data collection basically and based on analysis purpose check sheet can be designed practice required to design the checklist I'll show you some example here so that is a problem of welding breakage in a part so it's a mechanical failure so there are three types of checklists are being designed first checklist is used to help record the weld penetration test results of uh, pieces produced in various shifts and second report which helps to record the test reports machine wise and third one operator I mean the person who produces the part the operator wise products are taken which were tested and recorded in this checklist so the checklist is a very simple but the problem solver should have a knowledge to design the checklist to get a maximum input which can be used for the further analysis Second tool is graphs. It's a pictorial representation of, of data. Majorly three types of graphs used in the data collection and analysis. Let us see that three types. First one is line chart, trend over time, data collector over time period are displayed in this chart. Second one is bar chart it displays the frequency of data that means numbers or totals is shown in this chart you can see the example of total production done in the line wise shown in this graph third one is pie chart which helps to compare the data between the sets it shows the proportion you can see a graph shown here yearly sales data of is compared between the quarters so it rep represent the comparison of quarters sales data and based on this concept anyone can select a graph based on his data collections and representation mode third tool is Pareto chart and it was invented by Wilfredo Pareto an Italian economist he invented 80 percentage of money in the world was lying with the people of 20 percentage and this was well appreciated all across the world and this concept was further taken to quality field by Ishikawa so he reiterated this concept as 80 percentage of problem contributed by only 20 percentage of causes that is vital few travel many so he explained this concept in the quality area that means if you have a number of problems in the organization or in any field so 
only 20 percentage of causes 80 percentage of your problem so you have to prioritize and focus on major things by using this tool so it benefits also can be easily interpreted so only one drawback is it helps for a macro level analysis you cannot solve a single problem by using this tool this helps to prioritize your overall problems to focus so the example is given here you can see in this chart only three problems are contributing 80 percentage 84 percentage of overall problems so they can focus only first three problems to address on priority so primary axis defines the frequency number of occurrence and secondary axis defines the contribution of this individual problem to the overall data next tool is cause and effect diagram it was invented by Ishikawa, a Japanese quality professional and it is also called as fishbone diagram or Ishikawa diagram. So it is used to brainstorm and identify the possible cause for failure and defects and it's a good visualization method for presenting your data to a stakeholders and it can be used only for the first level analysis. So after collecting the possible causes in this tool, you have to go for a data collections and conclude the causes further. So you can see the right side, the example is given, the problem, it's further causes are categorized under 5M, man, machine, method, material and measurement. Under this primary category, the causes are listed out and further secondary, under this category, the secondary level causes are noted down. And the secondary level, further we go somewhere into the third level causes. So, after collection of all the possible causes, this secondary and third level causes noted in this diagram will be taken for a further data collections. So, based on the data collection, it will be taken into the analysis and further improvements in the process. So, this is only helps to brainstorm to identify the all the causes. Uh, this is one of the tools majorly used in AD principle for problem solving. Next tool is histogram. So representation of distribution of numeric data. It is a key tool for statistical analysis and minimum 32 numbers required in the data. And it can be used only for a continuous data. Continuous data is the reading taken using a measurement or numerical values. Judgments like okay, not okay, poor, good, that is all not coming under continuous data. That will be coming under attribute data. And you can see the image in the right side that is drawn with the X and Y axis. The X axis having a equal interval bands under this bands the data frequencies are calculated the frequency is plotted in y and and further histogram is drawn and the skill and knowledge level requirement is very high in, to apply this tool and this is only basic information given in this slide we will see detail about histogram in a separate video. So vertical axis I already told it is a frequency of occurrence horizontal axis factor taken for evaluation with the it should be kept to the common interval same interval. This graph helps to visualize the distribution type and it is further used for a statistical calculations. Next one is scatter diagram. It shows the relationship between two important factors and we are able to understand the correlation and decide the course of action with this tool. And like earlier one, it also can be applied only with the continuous data. 
but in case of large data it is hard to visualize the result and sometimes if we get a flat trends it will lead to inconclusive results you can see the right side the examples so x and y axis having a two factors and the results are plotted with the dots and going a forward slope it is having a positive correlation and the reverse slope is having a negative correlation and in case of a straight line or any curve lines we will not able to conclude the relationship in this chart next tool is control chart it's a very important tool coming under the 7 qc tools and this slide will be having only basic guide information about control chart we will i will make one detailed video about control chart and share to you all first it is called as a shivart or process behavior chart and it is a graphical representation of a statistic control of a process and is widely applied with all data type of data and you can see the example chart in the right side upper and bottom lines are specification lines of a process and in between there is a red line is dot plotted this is control limit the process control limits upper and lower control limits and the data are plotted in the chart and if it crosses the control limits there is alarm there is a i mean information provided to the operators or the problem solver so he can adjust the process to maintain well within the control limits and application and interpretation required training and high level skill it's having multiple charts to use with the various data numeric i mean continuous attribute all type of data can be used to plot control charts there are number of control charts based on the category i just it is shown in this chart here so if it is a continuous data we use xmr if sample size is 1 xmr chart and if sample size are lying between 2 to 9 then x bar and r bar charts and if sample size goes beyond 10 then x bar and standard deviation charts are used these are the charts for continuous data for attribute data we have two types of categories only for defectives with the equal subgroup size np chart are being used and different subgroup size p chart is used and in single bigger part bigger assemblies if you want to plot for a number of defects in a single assembly equal subgroup size you can follow c chart different subgroup size you can follow u chart this defect charts for a larger part having a multiple defects within it this type of charts are being used we'll see a detailed video in coming weeks on this topic friends let's have a short quiz please mention your answers in the comments so first question is which one of the following qc tools can be used for attribute data option 1 histogram option 2 control chart option 3 pareto chart second question is who invented 80 20 rule isikawa pareto shivat third question is scatter diagram explains proportion or correlation or addition of two factors please mention your answers in the comments so please like and share our video and please mention in the comment what type of topics you look for in future and thanks for watching thank you